Hello and welcome back to part 30 of my journey towards my Bachelor of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is kind of the first video that I'm going to do that's kind of off topic if you like. Uh, now that I've completed my degree program I was going to go back and uh, pick on some subjects and some things that came up during my degree program uh, that I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about. And the first one today is basically a simple question. When you take an external exam and you submit the results to the Western Governor University scores team, why does it take so long for them to update your results? Let's talk about it. So let's dig into this a little bit more. So for those who don't know, a number of the classes across the different uh, degree programs require you to complete an external certification to pass the class. It's that simple. So once you finish studying and you're ready to go, you can request a, um, a cert a voucher and then you can go ahead and complete these uh, external certifications. Now there's several ways you can do this. You can do this off site at a testing center or more commonly now I imagine is to do them online uh, via one of these external proctoring sites. So with Western Gulf University in this particular degree program that I'm doing, there was six or seven different certifications. So it's simple. You just go out, you take the class. Once you pass the exam, you just basically provide the W Western Governor University's uh, scores team with basically a copy of the score report just showing your successful completion or possibly uh, a downloadable PDF of the, the cert itself. And simply you just attach that to an email, shoot it off to them. And in theory, they're supposed to update the back end, uh, the, the Western Governor University's interface with the successful pass. And of course, it's their marked as complete. So why am I raising this as a subject today? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, today is March the 16th, and it's been eight days since I completed my last class, and in this case, an external certification. And I published, I did exactly what the, uh, the, the, the rules are. You basically took a copy of the score report, provided all the information, and sent it off. Now, they still haven't updated my result. Now, it's not the end of the world, I guess, in the bigger picture. I mean, end of the day, I did complete the exam. Eventually, they'll update it. But what I've noticed over the last few months, especially, it's taken them longer and longer and longer to the point where it just frustrates me. And I'm going to give you some reasons why. Now, I'm sure some of you sitting at home will probably wonder, well, why does this matter so much? But for someone like me, who's basically spent months studying for this exam, it's my last class of my uh, degree program, and it still isn't officially updated in the system eight days after passing it it's kind of frustrating and infuriating because you know if i've spent if i've if i've spent enough time studying for this surely you can spend the two minutes it must take to update my score and, and basically finish out my program for me so i can then start the graduation process now i've mentioned before in my some of my previous videos i'm in a little unique position and i'm sure there's other people similar to me but for me to be able to claim back the money from my company and they do give me x amount of money per year towards my degree program i have to submit my expenses a part of that is you have to provide them a score report so until i get this official report with the class shown as complete i can't submit my expenses and just like any other organization there's deadlines and there's cutoff dates so if i miss this month's day which i already have i'm not getting that money back potentially for another month later so there is significant differences i mean i basically have to pay out of pocket for my uh, for my tuition and then hopefully i pass the classes and then submit the expense reimbursement and get it back but like i said i get paid monthly and there's no way i'm going to get it in by the end of the month now it's missed a deadline so it'll probably be you know, i may maybe before i get my money back if i'm lucky so like i said this might not seem like a huge deal to some people but someone like me especially with a family you know, having to pay my tuition up front myself, this is a significant outlay. I mean, at the end of the day, Western Coast University is one of the more affordable universities, but it still costs me out of pocket. And their slowness just makes it more difficult for me as a student. You'd think that they'd have my consideration a little bit more in their mind. Now, interestingly enough, is when you do submit your results or your score report, you get an automated email response. And now I've noticed it actually says uh, your scores will be updated within eight to 10 working days or business days, as they call it. So why? That's the next question. Why does it take, well, it's actually seven to 10. Let me get that right. Seven to 10 business days to update my scores. Let's talk about that next.
So let's imagine this a little closer. Western Government University deliberately chose these vendors to provide these external certifications. It was part of their program. They have a relationship there. They must be getting these uh, exams at discounted price because of the bulk. I'm sure they're buying them in for the, you know, the, uh, the vouchers, etc. So there's a relationship there. So why does it take so long to get the results updated? Now, there's a couple of different things here. First of all, I'm assuming that once it might take 24 hours, 40 hours to get updated at, on the official, you know, the vendor site. So CompTIA or, or, you know, LPI, whatever it is. OK, I'll give you that. But why are they not sharing them information? So, for example, the uh, these organizations, they know what codes are for what Western Government University students are. Why are they not just sending them a, 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 a like a link to a database um, or a uh, an updated snapshot of who took those exams today uh, in today's world that wouldn't take much to script that they can basically say hey western coast university these 50 students completed exams today this is their, their candidate number thanks very much and then western coast university could easily even if they were manually do that just take the, the codes check in go into the back end and, and then mark the database or wherever they're doing as green and away you go why does that take eight to 10 days? And bear in mind, these people do not work weekends either. They're very specific, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. mountain time. So I'm starting to think there's only like one person working in the scores team, and there must be thousands of students to take eight to 10 days. Now, don't get me wrong, I've worked on a help desk. I understand that, that you're gonna get swamped with these kinds of requests, but I think this is an important part for Western Government University to fix end of the day, I've not been that critical of this organization. For the most part, I'm very positive about it. But this one area to me seems ridiculously slow. I mean, why take so long? The other thing as well is, why don't they automate this process? I don't see how that can't be done either. Again, a batch job could be run uh, if we've got access to a database. Or obviously, we, Western Coast, have got some kind of access back into CompTIA, whatever it is, and they can get that information. They can prove, uh, you know, check the, you know, the, the candidate ID, the result. And it could be automated. You could basically, you know, they could run it once a night just for those users that complete the test today. Honestly, that to me sounds very simple type of organ uh, automation. And, you know, and a lot of what we did in this uh, degree program was that type of thing about uh, automation and databases. And so uh, to me, this feels like a very antiquated way of doing it. I, I'm, I'm guessing that simply when you get that, send that email, there's some poor soul there who gets that and has to go through this massive backlog of probably hundreds of results, has to log into wherever they have to log in or God forbid, call CompTIA to find out, hey, can you just check this result for me? I'm sure it's not that antiquated, but at some point they have to do some kind of manual checks. Now I get from their perspective, they want to make sure that you did really pass. I'm sure there'll be some people that might fake their results. I'll, I'll be, I mean, I'm sure there are, but it wouldn't take much to verify that with some kind of extract, database extract, some kind of uh, access to the back end, some kind of query and tool. This isn't difficult and it shouldn't take seven to 10 business days to get your results updated. So I guess the bottom line is it's March the 16th now. I completed my degree program in this last class over eight days ago now and my results are still not officially updated in the system, which I think is very, very poor indeed. Now, I did send an email to my uh, mentor. So after I completed the exam, I did say that often and say, hey, look, this is my final class. Is there any way that you can get the scores team to update my result a bit quicker? Because, you know, this one's a special one. And she politely sent an email back saying, simply, this isn't possible. We're not allowed to do that. It's, you know, it's a different team, different, you know, a, a group organizing those results. And it's simply, I guess it makes it worse because if you submit a ticket or the mentor submits a ticket on your behalf to that team, basically, it's just an, another ticket in the queue, which I guess makes it even more convoluted and could take longer. So I guess ultimately... It is what it is. So let me know your thoughts. Are you having the same experience? Do you care that they take so long to update your results? I mean, for me, it definitely seems to get worse. When I first started this degree program, one or two days seemed to be normal. And now the last three or four I've done have just taken forever. And this one in particular, that's eight days. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, like I said, some of you might not care less, but for me, it's definitely the fact that I spent so long studying. In some cases, I studied. It took me longer to study and pass the exam than it did for them to actually update my results. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks very much. I look forward to speaking to you soon.